Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mr. Vince, and today I got another video for you guys. Sorry I haven't made a video over the past week. I was mostly busy working on getting 95 badges for the hunt. But I am finally back for a new video, and I'm super happy to share some news with you guys. So, after four days of trying to get 95 badges, Yesterday was the day I got them all. Yeah, I finally got enough badges for the gold crown. Honestly, I think it was worth getting all the prizes in the hunt because uh, you wouldn't really regret trying to get the prizes again in the future, considering that you would already own them. So yeah, you should definitely get the items if I were you. These items will most likely never return again, so just please keep that in mind. Otherwise, if you don't like the items, and or you just don't want them in general, you don't have to do the event. It's your choice. But, just a tip, please try to get the prizes before the event ends, because that way you don't have to feel regretful. Alright, but with that being said, I will go ahead and give my honest thoughts on the hunt. So, please keep in mind that you only have 10 days to complete the hunt. Because on March 30th, the hunt will end. So please keep that in mind. But with that said though, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about a couple things. The hunt itself was actually very unexpected and I felt like it was about time Roblox does another event. I have been playing Roblox for almost 7 years now and I felt like another event on Roblox would be pretty awesome. With that said though, I think this event for the most part was actually pretty good. The games were nice. There were a few that were too easy though, like Legends of Speed and Ninja Legends. But for the most part, the hunt was literally just a hunt. A death hunt, specifically. I mean, I did have to use an ult in some games, and I have been live streaming myself, trying to get some badges over time. But for the most part, the games were fair. But some of them were way too hard, others were way too easy. So yeah. Let me go ahead and talk about my favorites. I still have more to mention, but... I would have more to mention, but these are some of my absolute favorites. So here are some I like. Piggy, Steep Steps, Tower Defense Simulator. Oh boy, that one was really good. Catalog Avatar Creator, The Mimic and War Machines. Holy cow, those games were awesome. But there are other ones too. And sure, there might be some that might have been a bit of a hassle, but others were actually really good. With that said though, seeing myself finally have the crown in the wings just makes me feel a bit bad about the others because they kind of get the items yet. But like I said, you do have 10 days to complete the event. So, no need to worry or panic yet. Unless if you're busy, then I feel bad. <laughs> I wouldn't actually imagine anyone getting banned at this point, because if he did end up getting banned during the hunt, I do feel bad. Alright, so let me go ahead and talk about both the Golden Wings and the Golden Crown. Because I am wearing both, and I'll first off say that I was just grateful to finally get these items. It took me a pretty long time to get the crown especially because I had to spend four days trying to get the crown and that didn't include sleeps, so there's that. By the way, the hunt does actually track down your progress, so it did end up taking me four days to actually complete the hunt, which is pretty nice. Now, there were a few people who were able to complete the entire hunt within a day, but others may only complete it within a week or two. So, please don't fret. Those are the people who just wanted to get everything out of the way. So, there's that. Please pick the games that you are way too familiar with and that you are able to complete. Please don't pick the games that you're going to feel very stressed on including Steep Steps and Fruit Battlegrounds. Alright, those games can be a bit annoying, so just please keep that in mind. So you just need to collect 95 badges. 
which is nice. I mean, you don't have to like, oh, I have to get all 100 badges. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> but that's mainly because Roblox is aware that some users might be banned from certain games. So you just want to keep that in mind. All things considered, the hunt itself is actually a pretty good step to ensuring that Roblox events are still going to happen. And I'm so glad an actual Roblox event has happened after a while of having a load ton of company related events like Walmart Land and a couple concerts that most people wouldn't care about, honestly. But with that said, I'm just really grateful to finally have another event and and there should be some sort of constructive criticism because we gotta make sure that Roblox knows the complaints that we might have. Thank you Roblox for finally making an event that people may or may not enjoy. But yeah, please probably tell, let me know what you guys think about the event in the comments. And for those who want to see the items, there you go, you're absolutely welcome. I didn't wear every single hunt item, but these are the items that a lot of people would die to get because these items are just fantastic. The gold wings over here look pretty awesome. I love the particle effects on the wings, so I end up wearing the golden wings. And then we have the golden crown over here. This might be everybody's favorite item as part of the hunt. And although it is hard to get because you need the gold track and 95 badges, it is probably one of the best looking items in the hunt. Although the golden wings definitely look nice. But everyone has different opinions, so please feel free to express your opinion. I won't be attacking anyone for opinions, so there's it. With that said though, I hope you actually enjoyed this video. I know I had to make a video, so there's that. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Vince, and I hope you have a great day.